Alfred, do not speak like a pirate again. That was horrible. My impressions are bad. Even my impressions are not as bad as that. Jeez. God. Stupid gecko. You and your furries. Wait, that didn't make any sense. Oh, now we gotta wait. Because we know waiting is the most enjoyable. Waiting is the most enjoyable of all activities on the ship. Alfred, you do realize that you're standing, like, a couple inches away from a wall of death? Oh, Jesus! Whoa, fashion lights! Jesus. Okay, if you're ever left, ever left, oh my god. Is that Mr. T? Whoa, the crap! I think it is Mr. T. The boss for this one is actually a bit tougher. I know, right? A slightly tougher boss. Blasphemy! And there is one hell of annoying... Oof, I'm not going to look forward to trying to get this one. Oh, first try! That is how awesome I am. And then I fall. I'm sure that's smart. Knowing that the next level I'm going to have to do is the Mythology Network! Troy Story. Ugh, that's terrible. That is a terrible pun. I am sorry. That is just god-awful. I'm making progress, my bitch! My bitch, I say. Damn. Dip the lizard. No. That is just strange. Why would you want to dip the lizard? You want to dunk the monkey. That's a better option. <sighs> the mythology network. God. I'm not gonna like this level. Seriously. You wanna know how much I hate this level? I spent three beginning hours practicing this damn thing. And now I got a permanent image of the entire level mapped out in my brain. I hope you're happy, people. So next time on Let's Play Gex Street to Cover Gecko, we're going to be doing this Spawn from Hell. So until then, see you later and goodbye. Hello everybody, welcome back from Let's Play Gex Street Deep Cover Gecko. I'm Hunter, and this level does not deserve a voice intro. You know why? You want to know why? I hate this level! Hate it! I would have Josh here, and I was planning on it, but he, 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 it was too scary for him. He couldn't even do it. That's how bad this level is. That's how bad it is. It even scared Josh off. That's how bad it is. <sighs> All right. <sighs> Take a deep breath. Let's jump in. Let's get it on. No! No sex! No sex! No! No sex! No! 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 Sex! X! <laughs> For a limited amount of- Gex, what the hell? Seriously, Gex, what the hell? Why- why would you do that? Why- why would you just bark randomly? For no reason. At all. That was unnecessary, uncalled for, and just plain effing retarded. Never a fegging again. Got it, Gecko Boy? And if you must know, I have a permanent image of this level entirely mapped out in my head. All of it. The entire level. In my head. Now you invite me wondering if that's a good thing or not. Well, yes it is, but then again it's a bad thing. If you practice so much on a level, you memorize it by memory completely. And it will never go away. I bet even when I'm 50, I'll still remember this level. Because that's how much it leaves a permanent scar in your childhood. Because it's that bad and sadistically evil. Speaking of bulging... Did I just say that out loud? Yep, yeah, I'm afraid you did. I'm a bad boy. Gex, die in a hole. Move over, Here come the Gex. Gex, I have to say, that was um, fucking lame. Nobody cares. All right, all right, nobody cares. Just eat a baby. Are you guys playing cards? No! Gex! You're in a completely different time period. There are no cards. Dumbass. 
Think a little bit, okay? Learn your effing knowledge. And I hate you. Because nobody loved you as a child. You reject. Rejected skeleton, baby. Yes, we have a winner. And it is your mother. Shocking. Alright. Dead. Liedemeyer. Dead. You said that before. Your jokes are getting old. You shut up. Die in a hole where you get AIDS from touching a baby. That made no fucking sense at all. I don't care. The only reason you do have to go up there is because you need to get the coins by doing that running fine and kicking thingy of a dogger. No, I don't get it, Dex. Please explain to me your theory of being a zit. I am so confused, I don't know how you could be a zit. Even though that does not apply here, you're just making a random Animal House reference. Just because it has something to do with togas. Which was like, what, one joke in the whole movie? And yet, it somehow ties in with this entire level. Just because it references Greek, or Rome, or wherever the hell this is. I don't know, they both look the same. And practically, technically, they are the same. Because look at it, come on. They are the same place! Practically, they are the same place, with the slight alteration of the gods, and their government, and practically everything. Okay, I can see why now they're different. Shut up. Alright, but they, they, they kinda, they kinda have a similar thing, sort of. With the exception that Greek food is more awesome than Roman food, because Roman food does not exist. And there you go, randomly barking again, Gex! What the hell's your problem? You have a mental retardation disease, and it's not friendly. But that's good enough. Don't you, anally, my Christopher Walking impression needs work. I think. I don't know. People need to tell me these things. Because I am completely clueless. And Gex, why the fuck are you barking? Does it have anything to do with what's going on? No. No, it doesn't. Because it does not have anything to do with what's going on with the holy crap that was close. Fuck off, you evil guy, egg person, anthropomorphic creature. Are you guys playing cards? No, we're not playing cards, stupid gecko. Do you not understand that if you have cards, they would be in your hand? No, then you are retarded in 20 different areas of the law. What the hell? That... That... N no, no Gex. That didn't make any sense. That had nothing to do with anything. What? 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 Hopefully we don't have to get any of the bonus coins, but we do have to get all the Vazis. The Vazises? The Vazises? The Vazises. The Vazises. The Vazises. I actually 100% guarantee that I have the flash... Flashback? No, tra back? Track. Can't even get my terminology straight today. That's why this stuff hates me. Come on, over here. Over here, so I can kill you. So I can kill you, not so you can kill me. Stupid. Learn your knowledge. Once upon a time, there lived a gecko. His name was Gex. He went on many adventures. During his third escapade, he stumbled across the TV labeled Fairy Tales TV. He looked at it with question. He saw a green button below it. He decided to jump on it. Lock and load, little lizard. He said, Lock and load, little lizard, for no apparent reason. He then had a choice of three missions. He would pick the most important and longest one, which was to climb this beast of a beanstalk. Then the narrator stopped doing this really annoying voice and said his introduction properly. As you saw from that little intro cutscene of this mission, this place is tall. And I mean tall. Very, very tall. But luckily, playing as Gex Riding Hood, guess what you get to do? Fly! It's like the, uh, the, the, uh, the, 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 the place of the thing. You know what I mean. Shut up. Spiders! Dead spiders. I killed the spiders for you, Durden. Are you happy now? Did you just scoff at me, Gex? Screw you. And your babies. What's with me and babies? Some very mature things being happened to them. Mm, okay. 
your left, left and, and Stella's broom closet. Yes, I don't get why he's talking about Ann Stella in a broom closet, but... Yeah. I don't get it either. What is with him in referencing female celebrities that I've never ever heard of? Ever. Seriously. I've never heard of these people. Who is this Ann Stellar chick? Human. Another bonus coin speed running mission thing. And giant oversized chickens that drop two things at once. Right. Okay. Stop moving. Stop moving. Stop moving. I want to hit you because it's amusing. These chickens are somehow avoiding me and they're twice my size. Actually, three times my size. Stop doing this. Thank you. But for now, cutscene of FMV quality! Oh, don't you look cute. Alright, there was nothing in my dossier about the little girl outfit. I mean, no, this is getting ridiculous. Do you think red makes me look fat? Gex, why are you questioning about something like that? Well, well, well I might as well not try to question your sexual preferences, but... Then. Let's get it on! I'm trying to figure out if this is appropriate for this level. Passable. Passable, I guess. Alright, so let's jump over the three candlesticks. If you don't get what uh, little fable this is referencing to, then you have clearly not experienced a proper childhood. At all. And Gatch, what do you have to say about this? I'm gonna have one short turkey set to this. Okay then. That made no sense, but whatever. Let's go. And if you haven't figured it out, guess where the what's gonna be done? Down here. Gasp. Plot exposition and spoilers. I know it's shocking, but I bet you, I bet you never saw that coming. I bet you would never have figured it out that it was going to be down there and not anywhere else in the level. I know it is like totally a revelation of an epiphany of a something of a potato of a random stop making random. Non sequiturs of. Yeah, my non sequiturs aren't as good as Rackhouse. Shut up! So, we only have one main one left to do, and that is. Can you take a wild guess? Wait for it. Let's get it on. It's not sex, Gex! That would be the wrong answer, but instead, destroy the three little pigs' house. <laughs> okay. So, the point of that was. What? Exactly, you just said fee fi fo forget it. What's so funny? I don't get it. I don't, uh, why is that funny? Why is that funny, Gex? Why is that funny? Okay, so you know how this works. I huff and I puff and I blow your house down. Oh yeah, and then I explode it. Because you know, that's how it went, right? They, no, they, they, the houses weren't blown down. They were, they were blown up. Man, they made a critical error when they rewrote that book several times. They they had it wrong. They forgot to say that their houses blew up. They weren't blown away. They were blown up. Silly, they make so many typos these days in their book writing literatures. They... Good boy. Gecko. Anthropomorphic creature. Die. Um, Alfred, how are you able to get the same amount of volume if I was at the bottom of the tree? At the how are you still able to project a full volumed voice despite the fact that you're like, uh, let's see now, how far down up are we? Well, I'd say a good uh, 5,000 kilometers, give or take. 